Hi, I'm Mike with Cloverleaf Racing, and today we'd like to talk about setting up your new slot car. I just bought this new Racer Sideways Daytona prototype, and I thought we'd put it on track and see what it's capable of out of the box. Well, that wasn't bad. Four seconds or just over for a stock car, but I, I'm positive we can get a lot better out of this. So first thing you do is remove the chassis from the body. On this particular car, there's two Phillips screws, one in the rear with a washer, then one underneath the front guide flag. Turn the guide flag sideways, remove the screw. Now the body comes off from the chassis very easily. Now you can see the wires are mismatched. That affects the guide flag, it won't return. So we'll, we'll fix that up. We want these loops to kind of look like this. That way it pushes the guide flag back in the center position. Sometimes you have to play with the wire a little bit to get it to lay down properly. Or shorten it up just a little bit just by pulling it on it like this in this particular model. The motor pod is this section right here. I want to remove that and make sure there's no plastic flashing on there. So it's four screws. Okay, now you check, take this off and you'll see the, there's plastic flashing here. So that's where the files come into play. Get a small, fine, flat file. You want to take the extra flashing off. Because what you want to do is have float between your chassis and your motor pod. Now here there's a big nub, so I grab my, my knife and just kind of cut that off. You could file it off, but it will take you a little bit longer, so I just do it this way. Now you do the same thing on the chassis, and these are at a slight angle, so try and keep the angle the same, so as not to distort it. This next step, I will be loosening the screws on this pod. This is all dependent on your style of driving and your club rules and the track you race on. I like to start with a quarter turn out so I mark in my vision a spot on the screwdriver and then turn it a quarter turn. That gives it a little bit of side to side play which acts as somewhat of a suspension. This car has got rails that hold the wires in. I like to keep them in there so they don't bind up in the car. Now, every car is a little bit different, but for the most part, this is where you would always oil a car. On this car, it's got four set screws, which adjust the front axle and ride height. One here, one here, one here, and one here. So we put a drop of oil on each one. 
and it makes it nice and smooth. You've got bronze bushings in here. I put a drop of oil on here. And then just kind of turn it. Now as for the crown and pinion, I put a drop of grease on there. You want one on the teeth. Run that around a little bit. Wipe off any ex excess. And then on an inline, you want to make sure you get a drop in here. On our tracks, we always change our tires to silicone. Every track is different. You can use whatever style of tire you want. The tires I will be putting on here today are super tires. They're 1408Rs. They're a, a superior tire to most any on the market at this time. When putting on a tire, you want to make sure you get the tire seated properly. So you can spin it around a little bit with your hand and just make sure there's no humps. Because you see that little rib right there, or the spike, inside the tire, it looks the same way. So you'll want that section of the tire in where it belongs. So you put this... Stretch this over a little bit. And then what I normally do is kind of flip them like that so you make sure they're on nice and flat. And you look at them and they look great. Now after doing that, what I'd like to do is take the body and chassis, put them together, and see if there's any spots where they start to rub. because. If it rubs, you need this body and chassis to, to work independently. This is really close as it is, but all you would do is take your file again and rub off as much as you need so that the body and chassis do not rub together. Now I'm going to put the body back on the chassis. Make sure it's not rubbing anywhere. And it is not, so that works. Now I'm going to put the screws back in the body. Now, the, now right now, the body is tight. But we don't we do not want it that way but i tighten it down so i know I get an accurate measurement when i'm loosening the, the screws again i start with a quarter turn and back off a quarter turn but you want to make sure your your rear tires are not hitting inside your wheel wells And this is all a fine-tuning aspect of the car that you will have to do after you've set it up. Now it's time to put it on the track and see how we did. Now you can see with a little time and tuning, you can increase your drivability of your slot car, lower your lap times, 
and increase the fun you have at the slot car track. I'm Mike with Cloverleaf Racing, and thanks for watching.